When did you first start seeing an impact and how bad has it gotten? We probably began the, uh, seeing that back at, in the fall for the Trump, during the Trump tariffs. And we were probably off about 30 percent. Wow. Yeah. And so we're, we're still off about 30 percent. And it, it, the carryover from the Chinese New Year, normally when they get back to manufacturing at 100 percent in about the second week of February. And they have not done that yet. And they're still at about 60 percent capacity. So why is it that light bulbs in particular are, are one area where people might start seeing a shortage? Well, we, we used to have manifests that would come in. We'd do 15 to 20 loads a week. And as of right now, they, it's, it's stopped dead. And we're looking at next week having literally one load coming in. Wow. What else? What other kinds of goods that people might not be thinking about? Um, we have pharmaceuticals that are coming into Savannah that, that now have, have slowed down. Um, there are glucose strips for, for diabetes machines that are, are now going to be, hopefully not, but looking at short supply. Has there been a previous you know, instances like this that you can use as a template for when we might expect those uh, thing, products to start coming again and how quickly we might be able to get back up to speed? Well, yes, it's always been the Chinese New Year. has always been the time in which we had to slow down and, and tuck in our horns and basically get ready for the slowdown. Um, this time around, it was the tariff that started and continued with the, with the, with the end of the New Year, the Chinese New Year and the lack of the manufacturing. And now at this point, we're positioned, I think we're positioned in a, in, in a way such that we're able to handle the, the decrease going forward. You mean financially? Financially, um, I think, I think the, the supply chain now, the sourcing of the supply chain, we're going, or we have great customers, good partner customers that are looking to source out to more, more toward Europe and, and other areas to get away from the, the reliance on the Chinese. One final question, what's happening with the containers in this country that are so integral to moving uh, everything around? It sounds like a lot of them have been kind of stuck in the wrong places. Why is that and how quickly can that get fixed? Well, because you got the imports coming in, but you don't, you are, and the exports now are not, are not able to uh, find the containers to get, make their way out. So we're having a glut of containers build up here on the East Coast. Um, and ultimately, what's going to happen when, when it does break, there's going to be a run on containers, and, and they're going to probably need to manufacture more containers um, from in China to get those exports out of China because the, all the boxes are here, pretty much.